there, welcome to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this tiny little amigurumi ghost. So what is amigurumi? Amigurumi is when you crochet cute little stuffed animals. And to give you an idea of just how tiny our little amigurumi ghost is, here is a ruler. And here is a ruler next to our little amigurumi ghost. So just to give you an idea, we're looking at barely an inch. So he's he's pretty much like an inch by an inch. The bottom is a little bit wider where it kind of flares out, you know, gets, gets a little closer to the two inches. But we have a little adorable guy here and I am going to show you how to make him. So what will you need for your cute little amigurumi ghost? Well, you're gonna need some white yarn in a worsted weight. I'm using Premier's Just Active Worsted, but you can use any that you need and you will not need very much at all. You could even use scrap yarn for this because you really are not gonna use much yarn. So, white yarn, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, or the size of your choice, but I prefer to use a 3.5 or somewhere around there um, because it creates a nice tight um, stitch and so you won't see your stuffing through. But you can use whatever you're most comfortable with. You're also going to want a stitch marker and you're going to want some safety eyes. And then I've just got my little safety eye backs in here. Um, and you're just gonna want like the tiniest little safety eyes that you can find. <laughs> we will also need a darning needle. And if you don't have any safety eyes, that is totally fine. Just grab yourself some black yarn and you can use the darning needle to give yourself some just little stitched on eyes. Just little dots of black will be plenty for this. And you will need just a little bit of stuffing. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to make a magic circle. If you don't know how to make a magic circle, I have a tutorial where I slow it down for you and walk you through it. And I always will link that in the description on any of my tutorials. So check that out if you need some extra help. Um, just real quick, the way you do a magic circle is you lay your yarn tail in front of your two fingers and wrap around so that it crisscrosses. And then you're going to take your crochet hook. You're going to go under the first uh, loop, grab the second and pull through. Then you're going to turn so that you create a loop on your uh, crochet hook. And then you're just going to yarn over your crochet hook and pull that through, locking that um, magic circle into place. Now, what I like to do now is just pull this little tail out of my magic circle and take it out and toss it aside. Um, that is all you have to do for your magic circle. And then to work with your magic circle, you will work over the circle part of it and the tail part. So you'll hold these two together and we're going to single crochet six into our magic circle. So we're going to go under those, grab our loop and pull it up, yarn over and pull through. That's a single crochet. And you see how I'm working over the circle and the tail. And we're just gonna do six single crochets. So we've got two, three, four, five, and six. And you'll notice I worked over the tail and the circle the whole way until I got all six done. Then we're just going to give a gentle pull on this um, tail and that cinches up our circle for us. I'm not going to close it quite yet all the way. I'm going to leave a little bit of a circle, a little bit of a hole in the middle um, just because it makes it a little bit easier to um, get your first stitch before it tightens it up and kind of cinches in and makes it difficult to get to that first stitch. So you're going to go ahead and do an increase round all of the single crochets all six of them you're going to put two single crochets in each single crochet so that is called an increase and you're just going to go into your first stitch and if you have trouble finding that first stitch just count your way back from your crochet hook when you get to the sixth one then that's your first stitch 
I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and you're gonna make a single crochet and you're gonna go in there again same stitch and you're gonna make another single crochet and that is what an increase is so now you can go ahead and take your stitch marker and put it into that first stitch that you made and that will mark the beginning of our round so that when we're working our way around and we get back to it, we know we have worked in every stitch around and we are back to the beginning. Uh, at this point, you can go ahead and tug on your tail. You see we have a little bit of a hole in the middle. Uh, now that we've worked into that first stitch and we don't need to worry about um, tightening it too much um, and not being able to get into it, you can go ahead and give a nice solid tug on that tail and boom, you no longer have that hole. All right, so we're just gonna work in each single crochet around, uh, doing an increase in each stitch, and that will put us at 12 single crochets, or sorry, 12 stitches at the end of our round, because each of the six stitches is getting two single crochets into it. So you can use your stitch marker here if you have one, or if you like to use one. Um, or you can just keep count, or you can do both. Um, it's never a bad idea to do both, um, or to count at the end of the rounds. But um, otherwise, just work until you get to your stitch marker, and you will know that you have crocheted in every stitch around, and you should have 12 stitches now. Now that we're back to our stitch marker, we can go ahead and take that out for a moment. And we're gonna put a single crochet into that stitch. And then you can replace your stitch marker because that's gonna be the first stitch of your round. And you know when you get back to that stitch that you have completed your whole round. So this round is gonna be single crochet increase. And that's gonna be our repeat. So we did single crochet and in the next stitch we're gonna do an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so we did single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. Oops, and that is just gonna be our repeat for the whole round. You're just gonna single crochet in one stitch, increase in one stitch, single crochet, increase, and then you're gonna go all the way around until you meet me back at your stitch marker. And you should have 18 stitches at that point. Okay, and when you get back to your stitch marker, you should have 18 stitches all the way around, and then you can go ahead and you can pop out that stitch marker, and you can single crochet into that first stitch, and then you can replace your stitch marker. So we are going to do three rounds of just single crocheting all the way around. And so that just means single crocheting into each stitch all the way around, We'll have 18 stitches at the end of each round because we're not increasing or decreasing. Uh, we will just stay the same and you can continue to replace your stitch marker, take it out when you get back and put that first single crochet in and then replace your stitch marker and just work your way around until you have done three rounds of single crochets. So this is the first round that I'm working on right now. Go ahead and complete this one and then complete two more and meet me back. Okay, so once you've finished round six, you should be looking something like this. Uh, if you need to, you can go ahead and flip it right side out. You should have your magic circle tail um, where it comes out on the inside of your ghost so that it looks like this. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and pull up on your hook so that you can get your loop kind of out like this and remove your hook. You can also go ahead and remove your stitch marker because you know that this is going to be the first stitch of the round when we continue crocheting. And go ahead and grab your safety eyes. If you're not doing safety eyes, you can go ahead and grab your black yarn and stitch on some eyes now. So grab some safety eyes out of your thing. I just grabbed the smallest eyes that are available in my little set and grab some safety eye backs. All right, 
And once you have some safety eyes, we can go ahead and place those. Um, <clears throat> I placed them... Looks like between rows two and three. But you can place them wherever you want them to be. One, two, three. So I placed mine about right here, if I can get those through. If they catch on the yarn, that's okay. Um, just do your best to get it off. <laughs> Okay, so this is about where I placed mine on my first ghost. And if you have these uh, like cutesy, kawaii type of eyes, uh, rotate them how you're going to want your eyes to be facing um, when you're done attaching them. So these little dots, you know, you can have them uh, in the bottom corners, you could have them in the upper corners, whatever your preference is, but make sure that they're facing the direction that you're going to want them. And then go ahead and put your safety eye backs on. So you'll just kind of flip it inside out a little bit and put these on and push on them until they get past. There's like a little, there's like little rungs on here and you want to push them down so that they kind of lock into place. And this is why you want to make sure your eyes are facing the way you want, just so that um, you don't have to worry about trying to rotate them after you put these on. Sometimes you might be able to, but sometimes it's going to be too tight, um, squished in between the back and the front. So once you have your safety eyes on, you can go ahead and flip your uh, ghost back over and put your hook back in and tighten it back up because we are going to continue to crochet. So for round seven, we're going to be working in the front loop only. And if you don't know what the front loop only is, normally you work under both of these. Um, this is where your single crochet or any stitch that you do, you're going to work it under the whole stitch. And this is the whole stitch. So this right here is the front loop only. It's the one that's closest to you on the outside facing you. And then this one back here um, on the inside away from you is your back loop only. So we're going to be working under just the front loop only. And hopefully you can see exactly what that is. And we are going to be doing a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet all in the first stitch. And we're going to do that and then we're going to slip stitch in the second stitch and that's going to be our repeat for the round. So under the front loop only, make sure that you definitely work under that front loop only. We'll do a half double crochet, which is yarning over uh, our hook, going through and pulling up a loop, and then yarning over and pulling through all three. And then we're going to do a double crochet, which is yarning over, going through that front loop again, we pulling up a loop and then this time we yarn over and we pull through two and then we yarn over and we pull through two again. Then we're just going to do another half double crochet and that is going to be the last stitch that we place in this single crochet stitch. Then we're just going to slip stitch which is front loop only again going under grabbing that uh, loop and pulling it up and then just pulling it straight through that other loop on your hook without yarning over. Now grab your safety or grab your um, stitch marker and we are going to mark the um, back loop so that when we make our way back around we can easily find our back loop. So um, let me grab my darning needle to point. This right here in the center of that cluster is our back loop. And you'll see that there's the back loop right here that's um, from the back of the stitch uh, slip stitch that we just did. And then right here is the back loop um, from that cluster that we did. So go ahead and put your um, 
stitch marker into that first back loop only um, because we will be using that when we get back around. And that'll just help us to know where it's at. So we did a slip stitch last. The next stitch is going to be a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet. All worked in the same stitch in the front loop only. So there's a half double and a double crochet. And then another half double crochet. And don't mind that when you're working in a front loop only, sometimes it pulls up like this while you're working in it. It won't stay looking like that. It just looks like that while you're currently working in it. So that is completely normal. Don't worry about it. Then we're going to go front loop only again, next stitch, and slip stitch in that stitch. All right, and then we're just going to continue around. So front loop only of the next stitch, half double crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. And then in the front loop only of the next one, slip stitch. All right, and that is gonna be your repeat for the round. So just continue to do that around. We are making this cute little ghosty bottom shape. So I will meet you when you have completed all the way around back to your stitch marker. Okay, so when you've made your way all the way back around to the beginning, to that first um, little bump out, we are just gonna end with slip stitching into this first um, stitch here. And then we're going to go to the inside and we're going to find that back loop only. So go ahead and take your stitch marker out, but make sure that you keep um, where that back loop only is uh, in your site so you don't lose it. And now we're going to start to close up the inside. So we're going to do a single crochet and then a decrease, and that's going to be our repeat for the round. So in this first stitch, in that back loop only, we're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease, and uh, we're just working with the back loops because that's what we have, but also that's just what we're working with. Um, I'm going to do my decrease by going under this loop and then under the next loop, yarning over and pulling through both of those, and then yarning over and pulling through both of those. And then you can go ahead and replace your stitch marker into that first stitch. And we're just going to work this all the way around, just doing a single crochet, and then a decrease. So you can go ahead and you can repeat that all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. And then we will go ahead and we will stuff our ghost. Once you've worked your way around with your single crochet and decrease repeat, you can go ahead and pull up on your hook and give yourself that big loop again so that you can take your crochet hook out and not lose your stitch. And we are just going to go ahead and begin to stuff our ghost. Now you can add um, a little stuffing at a time and continue to add it as we uh, finish closing up our ghost um, or you can add it all, it's up to you. Uh, if you do add it all, then um, you'll just want to use your finger to kind of uh, separate your stitches from your stuffing when we are finishing up this last round um, so that you don't pull stuffing through with your hook. Um, so that is up to you. It is a very small um, amigurumi, so it may be easier to just stuff the whole thing now instead of trying to do a little bit at a time. Um, so that's what I'm doing, but you can do it your preferred way. Um, 
with larger amigurumi, I would recommend, you know, partially stuffing and adding more as you go. But this one is just so tiny and so, you know, compact. Um, it's hard to just add a little stuffing that's not going to get in the way. <laughs> All right. So when you're happy with your stuffing and you've got your ghost nice and shaped out, you can go ahead and replace your hook back into that loop. And tighten it back up. So this last round is just going to be decreasing all the way around. So you can go ahead and you can take your stitch marker out. And we're going to be doing invisible decreases all the way around, which means we're working with only the um, front loop. So we're grabbing our front loop. Our front loop on the next stitch, yarning over, and pulling through both, and then pulling through both. And if you'd like to, you can go ahead and replace your stitch marker there, um, and you're just going to continue to decrease all the way around, going under those front loops of two stitches, and then pulling through both. Uh, and the reason this is called decreasing is because we're taking two stitches and we're turning them into one. So we have two stitches here and we're just taking the front loop of both of those stitches, yarning over and pulling through, and essentially we just turned that into one stitch. Okay, so you're just going to do that all the way around, and when you have completed that, we are ready to close up our ghost using our darning needle. So when you've completed that, we will um, cut a little tail. We'll cut our yarn from the um, skein or the ball or whatever you're working from, uh, leaving a little bit of a tail for sewing. Uh, and then I will show you a really quick and easy way to close up the hole in the bottom. And you will have finished your little amigurumi ghost. So here is my last decrease. And you will have six stitches at the end of this decrease because we are turning 12 stitches into six. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have a little hole in the middle um, and be pretty closed up already. Then you're just going to grab your scissors and cut your yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail for sewing. And then you're just going to pull up on your hook. And then you're going to thread your darning needle. So once you've threaded your darning needle, we can go ahead and we can sew our ghost closed. And this is actually going to be a really simple process. Um, and it's actually pretty fun. So we have six stitches. We're going to go in the front loop only, which is going to be very easy to see. It's going to be facing you right on top. So one, two, three. And you'll notice I'm not pulling tight on these. I'm just pulling it through, but I'm not pulling tight yet. Four. five, and six. Once you've pulled through the front loop of all six stitches, but don't pull too tight, then you can go ahead and pull tight and that's going to close that hole right up. How cool is that? So cinches it right shut. And then you're just going to weave your, um, uh, your yarn in and out and uh, with your darning needle and you're just going to do that a few times till you're comfy with it and you feel like it's nice and secured in there. You can also use that to um, cover any spots where your stuffing might be showing through or um, any other like imperfections that you don't like and you would like to kind of hide. Um, now would be the time to do that very easily and 
just kind of weaving in and out. Um, and then once you're good with that to hide our tail, you can actually just stick your yarn, uh, stick your needle through and pop it out somewhere on the body and pull that yarn through. And then you're going to go ahead and pull that gently so that you don't see it on the bottom anymore. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it right up to the body, just like that. And then to hide this little spot where you pulled it through, just kind of massage and squeeze um, your ghost and you'll notice it just popped inside and you can no longer see it. And now you have your little Amigurumi ghost. Super easy, super tiny, super adorable. Um, there's so many things you could do with these. These would be great to hand out to trick-or-treaters. Um, you could put them on a necklace uh, and wear several of them. You could put them on a keychain. Uh, you can make it to sit on your desk. There's so much you could do with it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I would love to see your finished makes. You can always email them to me. My email is in my description box or you can tag me on Instagram if you post them on Instagram. Uh, I am on there as Nova underscore Gnome and that is linked in my YouTube page um, up in the banner at the top. You can just click right on that and that would take you to my Instagram. Uh, anyway, I hope that you liked this tutorial and please leave a comment letting me know what you thought. I hope you have a spooktacular day with your little ghost and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys!